Hi, my name is Tim Helgert and I create escapist art on Instagram. I love to explore the contrast between real and 3D. I'm working with Adobe Stock for the Make It Happen series. The brief says to create a 3D artwork using assets from Adobe Stock. I want to create an animated artwork which shows contrast, something like a storm trapped in a telephone booth, trapped in a desert. Like you can really see the contrast between the storm and the dry desert, make it look really surreal. I love using Adobe Stock when working for clients, for example, creating AR lenses or other 3D promotional material because of all the background footage and 3D assets available for me. Let's head over to Adobe Stock and first select video. I use the camera icon to find a similar asset to the image I have here. A very handy tool for when a client provides a specific image and wants something similar. Okay, let's browse a little bit. This one looks good. Yeah, this one is perfect. Let's save it to the library. Let's switch to the 3D category and browse for assets. Let's type in telephone booth. This one is perfect. Great. Let's save it to the library. Lastly, we need something for inside our object. I want to find rain and lightning. I like this best. Let's save it to the library. Awesome, we have everything we need. Let's import our footage as a background and also place our 3D object in the scene. Then we can use the HDRI feature and rotate it so that we have the proper reflection and proper lighting on our object. This allows you to have real reflections based off your footage. This makes your 3D artwork look really like it's part of the real world. Look, it already looks like it just belongs. If you want, you can also use the texture library to customize the object, but I already like this style a lot. Let's click Render and then head to Premiere. For this final step, I want to use Premiere to add motion to my render, but to also adjust the color correction and to add a few sound effects. There's a nice feature called Replace with After Effects Pre-Comp, and I'll use this because in After Effects I can add more details such as light reflections, and then it will automatically sync with Premiere. And here is the final piece. Look, it all comes together so smoothly inside of Premiere Pro and how good it already looks with a bit of color grading. We can really see where every program excels, like if we zoom in, you can see the ambient occlusion shadows from dimension on the dry desert floor. Thanks again to Adobe Stock for this amazing opportunity and be sure to tune into Adobe's YouTube channel for the next episode.